What's going on guys? Nick Thomas Tunis here. We are back again with another YouTube video this time. It's a highly requested one. I've had a ton of comments asking for a video like this and I kind of held out and held out because honestly, I didn't really know how to explain it and articulate it, but I'm gonna show you guys how to whip a dirt bike. I'm gonna try to use my knowledge and try to give off as much information on this as I can. Like I said, it's been highly requested. I'm out here at my uh, private little compound I've got. Now I'm gonna be doing this on this 100 foot double right behind me. Obviously it's a little bit bigger than the average like 60, 75, 80 foot double or tabletop at your local track, but it's got a nice lip. It's probably one of my favorite whip jumps and it's the best jump that I'm going to be able to use to kind of express my knowledge and express my expertise and help you guys out. I've peaked it up a little bit. I've added a little bit of a lip to the top of the jump just so I have a little bit extra height. And I'm gonna start by going out and just hitting this jump straight and warming up and making sure that I'm comfortable with the line that I'm choosing and comfortable with how the jump's throwing me. I started off by sitting into this and just straight jumping it to make sure that I'm comfortable with the jump. Now step two is you're gonna to wanna to start angling your line up the face of the jump to kind of carve whichever way you whip. I don't know if you whip right or I don't know if you whip left, but whatever you're most comfortable with, you're gonna to wanna to start carving up the lip. Most people try to go straight up the jump and then whip. And for this style of whip, that's not really what you're gonna to wanna to do. You're gonna to wanna to carve right off of the jump. Now that you're comfortable with carving up the face of the jump, you're gonna wanna incorporate leaning. So what I do is I have a couple different steps in my mind that I do when I'm going up the face of the jump. One is when I sit. So when I sit, I put all of my force into my suspension, kind of preload the bike going up the face so I know once I reach the top, I'm gonna have as much height as I possibly can. Two is I'm gonna start leaning. I don't really start leaning until I'm halfway, maybe three fourths away up the lip. And then when I get to the top of the lip, I pull at the same time. Most people think you just kind of lean and the bike slides off the lip, but it's almost like you're trying to pull the bike back and air wheelie it. As you can see here, I'm sitting down, going up the face. I start to lean right about halfway through the face, maybe a little bit before halfway. And then right at the top of the lip, I really pull back almost like a rowing motion, kind of like you're on the row or at the gym. You want to pull back as hard as you can to try and bring that front end up and get the rotation of the whip started. Okay, now once you leave the lip and you're leaning, what you're going to want to start to do is throw the bars down and kind of kick your feet out, almost like you're trying to jump backwards or like you're laying down. And what that'll do is that'll kind of throw the rear end of the bike from back here and that'll kind of bring it up and around like that. I know this step might sound a little bit confusing to start off, but as you can see here, I'm leaning, I got the first couple steps down, and then I'm throwing the bars down, almost like I'm trying to lay the bike flat on its side. Here's an onboard angle, you can see I'm leaning, throwing the bars down, and kind of kicking my feet out like I'm trying to either jump backwards or almost lay down. More of like a rowing motion more than anything, but that's the best way I can describe it. Now throughout the kick motion, you're gonna notice that I'm revving it, and what that does is help the gyro effect bring the bike around and kind of bring it back. And when I'm bringing it back, I'm almost picking the bars up, like you're picking the bike up off of the ground. It's very similar motions, and that'll straighten the bike out and get you back straight so you're not landing sideways or on an angle and high side. That'll pick the bike up straight, and you'll have a nice, smooth, and straight landing. through it one more time right here fully compressing the suspension sitting down into it as heavy as I possibly can leaning leaving the lip leaning pull back start throwing the bars down midway through here and kind of doing the kicking motion or jumping backwards motion simultaneously 
pull the bike back up straight and come in for a smooth landing. Hopefully these tips from my own personal experience help you guys improve your whip techniques and whip skills. I'd like to hear what else you guys want to see me do. If you want to see more tutorials, POV videos, whatever you want to see, drop them in the comments. And if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm happy to help and happy to answer. But until next time, we'll see you guys later.